Shalom, shalom, peace. It's your boy, the targeted lion. I'm back. Brothers and sisters, when I tell you I'm going through it, I'm going through it. First, let me give you an update. So first, I uh, just moved into this new place last month. Uh, my landlord has been disrespectful, yelling and cursing and uh, threatening me. You know, um, the cops just came. Uh, I confronted him, right? And I stay tuned for that. I have a, I recorded that. So I confronted him about why he was cursing and yelling and mistreating me and, you know, gave me a 30 day notice. So that's just the life of a, a targeted individual, you know, intimidated by your spirit. Then uh, I also have a new job, praise Jah, two new jobs. The first job I started, excuse me, this lady said the supervisor came in and as she was telling me what to do, she said, I don't like your disposition. You can leave. So I've done, I did nothing to her, but just looking into her eyes, she was intimidated, intimidated by me because she wanted to dominate. You understand these people with these demons that are in power, your supervisors, you know, feminists, witches, they want to dominate you. They feel insuperior. If you don't bow down to them, to bow down to Satan, to bow down to their wickedness, so they can control and feel superior and dominate, they will not like you. So now everyone's writing a statement about what happened, you know, when nothing happened. I done nothing to her. Yah knows, I'm not lying. She definitely had an evil spirit. And now everyone's writing statements, you know, it's probably conspiring against me. She probably told people, you know, because she has power to, to try to get me fired, to make up false accusations, you see? This is what happens to those that are chosen, that are targeted. Our spirit intimidates those demons. Our spirit is a spirit of strength, of Yah, of truth, of righteousness, of masculinity, and they hate that. So I want to get today in the wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 2, verses 19. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture, that way that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Wow. Let's, dis let's examine him with despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Despitefulness and torture. They examine us, my brothers and sisters. I cannot tell you how many times I get recorded, not just in public places, in stores, when I'm riding my bike at an intersection. So they're always watching. As you ride by, they, they look at you. They watch you, my brothers and sisters. And it's deeper than just your physical. A lot of us not being prideful, a lot of us chosen ones, targets, we're, 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 we're handsome men. We're, we're uh, beautiful females, you know, and that's true on the flesh, but it's, it goes deeper than that. Our spirits, they shine. We have a target on our back in the spirit. You understand what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters? They always watch us with despitefulness and torture to test our patience, to see how much they can laugh. As you ride by, every person, they're mumbling things. They're laughing at you. They're, uh, they're making things up, false accusations. They're <clears throat> coughing and sniffing. They're, they're making up lies to get you fired. They're always trying to test your patience, your meekness, my brothers and sisters. Oh, Lord. I want to do another video with information, you know, as I've done in my previous videos where I post it on the screen and you could read along with me. But I, I only have, um, you know, I have to buy another phone for that, you know. Um, I have a 30-day notice from this landlord. I think he has a a zesty spirit or some type of sexually perverse spirit because he's very, very, he's not a man. Let me just be honest. So just, I'm going to post that video along in this video, um, probably towards the end of the video to add it on to this. But let me get into the Bible, my brothers and sisters, real quick. I'm in the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 12. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. My brothers and sisters, at the job there, you know, she's making something up. Oh, I don't like your disposition. Not that I don't work hard, my brothers and sisters. I know you work hard. Not that you're not qualified. Not that you're not respectful and wake up at five in the morning and, and unload a truck by myself, sweating, yes. 
but she didn't like my disposition. She didn't like my spirit. She didn't like me because her spirit was not of Yah, because we didn't connect, because she couldn't dominate me, because I wouldn't be submissive to her wicked authority. Not that I said anything, but just because I am a, a man of Yah, because I can't be controlled, I can't be dominated. And they hate that, especially feminists and witches, my brothers and sisters. I want you to understand, as we walk in this land, as the end comes closer, no one knows the day or time, the hour. But as this world comes to an end, slowly, we will be hated more and more, brothers and sisters. The more that we walk in truth, they will try to slander us. They will plot against us. They will conspire to, to destroy our name, to, to make false accusations about us. When you have a clean spirit, my brothers and sisters, when you shine, not that you're perfect, not that you're sinless and blemishless, but that you walk with Yah, that you walk with integrity in this perverse world full of liars and deception and perversion, you will always be the center of attention even when you don't want to be. That's why they record you. That's why everywhere you go, they're always watching you. Every little step you take, anything you say, anything you do, they're always watching and conspiring brothers and sisters this is not our home and I say this in my videos and I'll say it again the devil is the God of this world that's why you are hated you do not belong to this world we are not of the world if the world hated you just know it hated me first the hatred that you have uh, on upon you is because they hated Christ first. The reason that you are hated so much, my brothers and sisters, is because you don't fit in. You can't fit in. God did not call us to be of this world. You can't lie and slander. You don't go around coughing and testing and mumbling and, and laughing at people and you know and, and, and trying to be narcissistic and dominate people. No. You love people. You help the homeless. You you smile. You know, you spread love. You motivate people, brothers and sisters. And this is the truth of who I am at my heart and deep inside. I don't hold a grudge. This guy, man, this guy threatening me, cursing at me. With all pride aside, brothers and sisters, I box. You know, this is not me trying to show off. I could easily break his jaw. But guess what? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Turn the other cheek. This is what we are called to be. And I, I bow down to Yahshua and Yahweh alone. But we are called to a higher standard. We have to deal with this. It's unfair. I know, brothers and sisters, every job you go to, even the place you live at, people are always talking and slandering and making the noises and, and recording you and, and, and just looking for a opportunity to try to destroy your name, who you are, your jobs, where you live, everything. Everything has been infiltrated. Every corner you take, every corner you, every move you make, there's always a demon there at every job, at every place you live, at every store you go to, to try to test you, to try to interfere with God's plan. But Yahshua is king. Give me one second, bro. Oh, that's my landlord. Let me, let me continue this video. I'll be back. All right, brothers and sisters, I apologize. I'm back. So when my landlord came, he was yelling at me, cursing at me, called the cops on me, right? I went up to him, brothers and sisters, and I said, hey, God bless you. Gave him a pound. You know, there, you know, there's no hard feelings, you know, and I asked him if I find a room before the second, because I just paid him, you know, yes, yesterday, will you prorate me? He said, yeah, no problem. I said, it's all love. And I'll post that. I, po I recorded a little clip of that. I didn't want to record him, but I tried to record the, you know, the, the audio. But to get back to what I was saying, brothers and sisters, I think he had, <laughs> I think he got a, a feminine spirit, brothers and sisters. I'll be honest with you. And I, and it's not me trying to make fun of those kind of people, but that is intimidating. You understand being a man of Yah, standing for righteousness and masculinity and what is acceptable to the Lord and a woman of God with integrity that's not running around having sex, that dresses modestly. That's looked at as weird. You understand what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? When you're not like the crowd, you stick out like a sore thumb. But if you were of this world, it would love you. But you're not, so it'll hate you. 
And being hated is something that it's hard. It's hard to be hated when you stand for what's right. It's hard to be hated when you 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 are yourself, your genuine true self. When that's the thing about targeted individuals, the chosen ones. You know, I don't really like to use that chosen ones because everybody throws that around, right? But when you when you are your authentic self, charismatic, happy, loving, smiling, you know, kind, people don't like that. They're jealous of that. And a lot of these people in power, they got this, but they don't have this. And that's something that money can't buy, a heart, charisma, the, the fruits of the spirit, being patient and humble. Not to toot my own horn, but I could have I could have been angry at that guy. I could have been like, why are you knocking on the door? No, no, stop bothering me after all he did to me. But no, I give all praise to Yeshua to be humble, to be meek, right? To live by a moral code, even if I'm wrong, because I, I I curse at times, brothers and sisters. I I still deal with lust, and I could admit that. I could admit when I'm wrong, and that's something that we all understand as men and women of Yahs that we are held to a higher standard. That we have to admit when we're wrong. That we have to apologize even when we've done nothing wrong to keep the peace, to be the bigger man, to walk in integrity, to walk peacefully in the land. To be at peace with all men or try to be. But wherever you go, you're going to be hated, my brothers and sisters. This is the harsh reality of this satanic world system. And that's going to be my next video. Something along the lines of the new world order. This satanic beast system. That will be my next video. Praise Yah by the grace of Yah. Probably soon within a couple weeks. I got to get another phone so I can read the information off, you know, while I'm recording the video. But... I just want to motivate you, brothers and sisters. A lot of people shine. A lot of people shine. And you're waiting for your time, targeted individuals, chosen ones. I know. It's not that you're jealous. Because you support people. You like to see people shine. But you want your time to shine too, don't you, brothers and sisters? You want your time to shine. You would like to have that nice job, wouldn't you, brothers and sisters? And not get harassed at every job, not being able to progress and make money and save and do things you want to do. I know. You want to shine. You want you want your time to shine. The Bible says, don't be envious of the wicked, right? Like it said that they plot, but the Lord laughs because their day will come. Revengeance is mine, says the Lord. Those people that slander you, that lie upon you, that try to cause you harm and speak evil and witchcraft, but I bind it in the name of Yeshua. Praise Yah. We are chosen. We are called to a higher standard. And we will be hated as long as we're in this world. But along this journey, brothers and sisters, there are people that we have to help. This is our true purpose. Our true purpose is to help those in need. To help the homeless, the poor, and the needy. Those are my people. To help those that are lost. To bring them to Yeshua. To motivate them. To train the children in the way they should go for the one they owe that they won't depart from it. To speak out against evil. See, the thing about speaking out against evil is there's consequences to that. When, when you speak righteously and show meekness, they call you soft. Look at J. Cole. Look, I'm not perfect. I like J. Cole. <laughs> J. Cole, one of my favorite rappers. Is his music of the Lord all the time? No. But he does have a lot of music that speaks to your soul. And because he apologized to Kendrick Lamar, they called him soft. But don't you understand that if Biggie and Pac apologized to each other, they might still be alive. See, the culture wants you to be like, ah, oh, nah, F you, I, I, I got more money than you, I'm better than you, and be prideful. But no, J. Cole spoke humbly. He even talked about God. He even wanted to bring God into the picture. You see that? But they called him soft and made fun of him. You see that, brothers and sisters? When you walk with meekness and kindness and love, they're going to try to take advantage of you. When you're humble and kind and loving, they're going to say you're soft. But little did they know that you are a warrior, both in the physical <laughs> and in the spirit. And this is not my, me trying to flex and be prideful, but it's just to show you, brothers and sisters, that I am... A man of Yah, but I'm also a fighter. I box, brothers and sisters. That's one of the gifts that God gave me. I'm a fighter, and I'm trying to lose weight. I know you can see I kind of slimmed down, trying to eat right. You know, you got to use the gifts God gives you. And I also am uh, intelligent 
at um at rapping. You know, I, I heard you. I know you heard that one freestyle I made. It's something light, but I got a lot of music that I want to record in the future. So be on tune for you know, stay tuned for that. And it's gonna be of ya. It's gonna. I'm gonna talk about being targeted. I'm gonna talk about spiritual warfare. And I ain't got a curse, but I got an ill flow. Praise ya. Not trying to be prideful. So use the gifts that God gives you. All good gifts come from above. Some people are great at helping people that are kind and loving, loving and nurturing. Some people are great speakers. Some people are athletes. But do it all to the glory of Yah. And your time will come, brothers and sisters, whether it's in this lifetime or the next. I'm going to motivate you. You're special. You're loved. And I know what you go through. I know the pain. I know you ain't got family. I know you're the black sheep. I know that people hate on you and talk about you and all you want to do is help people. All you want to do is hold your job down so you can save money, so you can have nice things and have your own place and not have to deal with stuff, you know, to, to, to have money to be able to help others, you know. I know your pain, brothers and sisters. Well, keep your head up, man. I say this all the time in my videos, but in this world you will find tribulation. Be of good cheer. I have overcame the world. The peace peace I give to you, not as the world gives, but as I give. The peace is found in Yeshua and Yeshua alone. And you on the right track. <laughs> don't get discouraged. Don't give up. Those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. We're suffering together for Christ. You're not alone. Keep shining. Keep being that light. The world will be a dark place without the people of Yah. Just remember that. Keep fighting. Stay strong. Shalom. Hello? How are you doing, sir? What's going on? So, basically... Um, hey, if you're recording me right now, I'm not playing that game with you. Okay, just listen to me. Okay, listen, what's going on? Listen to me. The way that you were talking to me, sir, when I was on the phone with you, you were yelling and cursing at me. Yo, I'm effing this, I'm effing that. I never once... Listen, I'm talking to you as a... Let me it's, finish, let me right, finish, sir. Right, let, let me I'm finish. I'm to talk to you. Let, you let me finish. No, no, they, no, the cops told me to record this. The cops told me to record okay, this. Okay, go call the cops No, then. I'm not going to call the cops on you. Okay, I just want to... What do you need from me? Because right now you call me three times or listen, two times listen, today listen, listen, arguing sir. about your... your the, you, were, you, were, you were yelling and cursing at me, sir. Go call the cops. You were, sir, I'm let me just... your notice for termination. No, wait, 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 sir. What do you need from me, sir? Let me talk to you. from me? Because you're aggravating people and then turning were, around, because turning you were, like you're the victim. You were yelling and cursing at me. Okay. Right? You let were, me get, and I never disrespected you one time. All right, let me talk. Since you want to be on camera, refusing to take in the trash out because, oh, I didn't put no trash in there. That is wrong. You're sharing I never, space. I never refused to take the trash out. You said it's not my trash. Why were you cursing and yelling at me, sir? Why were you cursing and yelling at me, sir? Get out of my Come on, man. Take me to court, because I don't know what you're trying to pull off. Bro, yeah. I'm not going to pull. Listen, bro. Why are you recording me and asking me I'm, I'm, questions? Listen, man. I'm a, I'm a man of God first and foremost. Okay, good luck. So why are why were you yelling and cursing? Come on, man. Keep that same energy, man. Keep that same energy, man. You were yelling and cursing at me when we was on the phone, but you're not doing that now. So, bro, it's... So if if I um if I find a if I find a room can I uh, can I just text you? It just let me know the day you're moving out and I'll throw in your room. Okay. So that's pretty much where it's at. Okay, thank you, bro. I appreciate uh, it, man. No All love, bro. All right.